Okay, our next presenter is Peter Olame. He is a second year student uh, in soil and crop sciences, and he knew he wanted to study soil and soils and crops when he did his undergraduate internship at the Africa Rice Center and was fascinated with the diversity of people and research all focused on improving rice production in Africa. And ultimately, he hopes to help feed the world's most disadvantaged peoples in a sustainable manner. The title of his presentation today is Lactobionate, a Soil Health Genie. As the world's population is projected to eat the 10 billion mark by 2050, coupled with increasing climate variability, our ability to feed ourselves in a sustainable manner will depend primarily on the health status of our soil. Today, water and nutrient supply remains the biggest limiting factors to soil health and food production globally. For instance, Colorado farmers are greatly worried that the major water crisis projected for the state in the 2020s could wreak great havoc on our cropping system. Another key challenge we face today is food waste and waste management. In the United States, up to 40% of the food produced every year ends up wasted in landfills. This is $218 billion worth of investment in agriculture that goes to waste every year. It's not just an economic challenge, it's also an environmental challenge, as food waste contributes to climate change through the production of greenhouse gases in landfills. These challenges require urgent attention and novel ideas to surmount. One question I have asked is, can we use one stone to kill two birds? Can we use food waste to improve our soils while managing it properly as a waste? One approach my research is taking is by exploring the soil health benefits of a certain byproduct from cheese manufacturing known as lactobionate. Lactobionate is produced in excess quantities during the process of making cheese. In a laboratory experiment I carried out where lactobionate was applied to soils gotten from Colorado and California, we found that lactobionate increased the ability of the soils to retain water by more than 100%. We also saw that lactobionate increased the carbon content of the soils, a key factor for soil health. This intriguing result led me to ask him again that could lactobionate be a soil health genie that works not only in the lab but also in the field? To answer this, we applied lactobionate at different rates to a few sites here in Colorado from 17 gallons per acre to 200 gallons per acre. And three weeks after we saw that soils that got from 17 to 200 gallons per acre had higher water retained in them as compared to soils that didn't get any lactobionate. Most importantly, we saw that lactobionate was acting as a source of food for microbes in the soil. And when these microbes die, they transform into a dark, spongy material called organic matter that retains more water and nutrients in the soil. I don't intend to sound cheesy today. <laughs> but perhaps cheesy waste may hold the key to improving our soils while managing it properly as a waste. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. 